We've all played Fallout 3, we've trucked across the Mojave Wasteland, we've saved the Commonwealth from the forces of evil. Nevada is a wasteland, Massachusetts is literally glowing with radiation, Washington DC is a wasteland, there's also Oregon from Fallout 2, and California from the original Fallout. We've had glimpses at a handful of states. But what about Michigan? In the Fallout universe, Michigan is part of the Great Midwest Commonwealth. In 1969, all 50 states were divided into various commonwealths, of which there are 13. That's why the US flag in the Fallout games have 13 stars. Commonwealths still retain some powers that the individual states had, like the high-stakes, high-reward world of license plate making. Michigan was part of the Great Midwest Commonwealth alongside Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, and Indiana. Vault 1 is located somewhere in the Great Midwest Commonwealth. Following the incredible success of a demonstration vault in Los Angeles, Vault 1 was the first vault commissioned by vault Tech's Project Safehouse. Vault Tactics takes place in the Great Midwest Commonwealth as well, mainly in what used to be Illinois. John Cassidy, a potential companion in Fallout 2, says that there are miles wide twisters or tornadoes, and that the place is one big radioactive dust bowl, that being the Great Midwest Commonwealth. Basically, we don't know jack sh about what went down in Michigan, which means it's time for me to make a bunch of assumptions. Nowhere is it said how many bombs were dropped during the Great War of 2077. In Fall of New Vegas, Mr. House says that he shot down 70 of the bombs headed for New Vegas. Now things are about to get a little weird and numbery. Las Vegas is 136 square miles, or 352 square kilometers. That's almost one bomb per two square miles. That's a lot. Using that number, there'd be almost 5 million nuclear bombs headed towards America. Not likely. What likely happened was that the bombs were launched at the most populated cities to wipe out the most densely populated areas. Pennsylvania and New York were among the first to be hit, which makes sense. New York City, in our world, has the largest population of any city in America, and Philadelphia is the fifth most populated. According to Wikipedia, Las Vegas is the 29th most populated city in America, with an estimated 614,000 people in 2014. Of the top 300 most populated cities in America, six of them are in Michigan. Detroit has 680,000 people, Grand Rapids has 194,000, Warren has 135,000, Sterling Heights has 132,000, Ann Arbor has 118,000, and Lansing, the capital of Michigan, has 115,000 people in it. But back to Vegas for a second. If we assume that the primary targets were based on population, and that it's a fixed amount of bombs based on the population, there was one bomb launched per 8,771 people. Using that number, it would seem like around 41,000 bombs were launched towards America. Certainly more realistic than the 5 million from earlier. However, not every city has as many people as Las Vegas. In fact, Nevada is the 35th most populated state in America, with 2.7 million people. Another important factor is that in the Fallout universe, Repcon was located in Las Vegas. Repcon was a company that specialized in rocket manufacturing. Obviously, that would be a major target during a nuclear war. Well, f That makes things complicated. There's no information about Michigan anywhere that I could find that relates to Fallout. Real Life Michigan is home to the headquarters of three major car manufacturers, Chrysler in Auburn Hills, Ford Motor Company in Dearborn, and General Motors in Detroit. Assuming that the automobile industry in Fallout is similar to ours, Metro Detroit would probably be a target, but the headquarters could easily be somewhere else. Then again, the cars seen in Fallout 3 are based on the Ford Nucleon, a scale model concept car developed by Ford Motor Company in 1958 as a design of how a nuclear powered car might look. Remember when I said I was going to make a bunch of assumptions? This is one of those assumptions. Metro Detroit was a target. That number from earlier, one bomb per 8,700 people, let's go back to that. Michigan has a population of 9,900,000 people. My calculator tells me that using those two numbers, there'd be approximately 1,000 bombs launched towards Michigan. Is that a lot? Hard to say. Here's a map of Michigan, showing where these bombs would hit based on the six most populated cities. And here's where Mitten Squad International Headquarters Supercenter is located. Using Nuclear Secrecy's nuke map, you can see what type of impact a nuclear explosion would have on any city. According to the Fallout Wiki, the bombs dropped on Washington DC have a yield of 250 to 750 kilotons. However, the yield of the bombs used during the Great War are never stated, so this is just another assumption. To put that 250 to 750 kiloton yield in perspective, the bomb dropped on Hiroshima was 13 to 18 kilotons and was a gun type uranium 235 fission bomb, according to Wikipedia. The bomb dropped on Nagasaki was 20 to 22 kilotons and was an implosion type plutonium 239 fission bomb. The specific bombs used in Fallout, again, aren't known. So here we go. We can finally get into the deep shit. 
what actually happens to Michigan. A 250 kiloton nuclear weapon hitting the surface of Detroit would have some very bad effects. The fireball would be enormous. For over a mile, the expected fatality rate due to the radiation is 50 to 90 percent. For a bit over 0.85 miles, residential buildings collapse. 3.5 miles out, you would suffer third degree burns over most of your body. The radioactive fallout would stretch to Minto, Ontario, Canada, over 150 miles away. There would be almost 87,000 deaths and over 123,000 injuries. But wait, it can get much, much worse. That was a surface impact. What if it was an airburst bomb, as in it exploded over the city? Fatalities almost double, going up to 150,000, and injuries past 250,000. 4.3 miles away from ground zero, you get third degree burns. Let's crank it up a bit. If a 250 kiloton surface explosion is seemingly the least destructive, the next logical step is to go to a 750 kiloton airburst explosion. As expected, things go badly. Estimated fatalities increase to over 260,000 people with almost half a million injuries. The fireball would be nearly a square mile, almost seven miles away, you get third degree burns. Here's the thing though, that's from a single bomb. Remember how many I estimated would head towards Michigan? Almost 1,000. Michigan would be fucked, just like the rest of the world. John F. Kennedy once said, We will not act prematurely or unnecessarily risk the cost of worldwide nuclear war, in which even the fruits of victory would be ashes in our mouths. Fitting. Because war, war never changes. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video about what would happen to Michigan during the Great War. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn any anything. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad and have a wonderful day.